Right, this is lecture 13 on matrices, and it's on rogue operations, and there was a, a lot in this lecture which I found quite useful, so you might like it. Right, and it's just definition after definition after definition. He did loads of proofs, loads of them. Uh, I can give you the lecture notes if you wanted them uh, to prove them, but I like to just, I like proof by example. So, theorem 1. Uh, it's all to do with determinants, so this is, if you remember, this is the, uh, the, the this means determinant, if it's got uh, straight lines. So, if a row is multiplied, then the whole determinant is multiplied. So, we have our example here, and this works out the determinant is minus 100. So, here we have, if we just compare this one with this one, we see that the second row is multiplied by 2. So we have 2 times the determinant of this, which is minus 200. Yeah, so we have 2 times that, it's minus 200. So if any of the rows, it could be an FM. Next one. Uh, rows can be split up as sums. Now this one's a little bit harder to get your head around, but I did proof by example here as well. So we have our same matrix again. And if we have... 5, 1, 3, that is actually, you could split it up to 2, 1, 3, plus 3, 0, 0. So we'd have 5, 1, 3. Uh, and th that that is what it is if you split it up. So we can split it up if we wanted. It could be for any row, remember. And so if, uh, I did a little test. So I found the determinant of this, which was 20. The determinant of this, which was minus 120. And so it does equal minus a hundred. So we can split it up if uh, two ro if a row has uh, the addition of two different parts. You can split it up into two different things. Next one. Uh, if you swap two rows, then you swap the sign of the determinant. This one's quite simple to get your head around. So here we have our uh, matrix again. We've swapped the last row and the first row. Remember, you can swap any rows. Uh, we swap them over, so we've swapped the sign, the determinant is now 100. Yeah, and I tested this as well, and that's, that's right. Feel free to test them with any other matrices. Uh, Corollary, I'm not sure what that means, but I think it's another word for theorem. <laughs> uh, if you have two or more identical rows, then the determinant is zero. So here we have two rows, they're both 5 or 3, so the determinant is 0. And the last one, which is very useful for the homework we had, uh, here we have, now I, I, I altered, oh, I altered this matrix and I didn't alter this. So this, this these numbers are actually wrong, but I just wanted to prove a point. So. Uh, if we add two rows, if we add no, if we add one row to another row, so here we've added this row to this row, which has given us nine nine nine. Uh, that's why I changed them. But I forgot to change this. Uh, so we've got nine nine nine, and this is the same determinant uh, as the previous one. And what you can also do with this is because we've got uh, a row of nines, uh, we can take nine out as a factor. So we know that 9 is a factor, and there's a lot of work on matrices on find the factor of, of whatever determinant. So we, that, this is how you find a, a factor, by adding different rows all together. And you'll eventually end up with lines like that, and you can take a number out and leave 111. Maybe you'll have 0, 1, 1, because if there was a 0 there, then you can still take 9 out. Uh, and that's how that works fine. I'm not sure what the uh, deter uh, determinant is. It's not 100 for either of these, but it will be the same for all these different things. So remember, 9 is a factor, and we've just added one row to another, and the determinant does not change.